let's solve some math problems here. Okay, find the missing number. Okay, we're given here the sequence with numbers 31, 48, and we need to find the number after 48, and the next numbers are 82 and 89. Now let's take a look at this number sequence here. Actually, there are different types of number sequences problems, or number sequence problems, but in this case, um, there is a common difference between numbers. So if we're going to subtract um, the previous and current number, the difference is 17, and as well as these numbers 82 and 99, the difference is also 17. Therefore, the difference between 48 and this number here is also 17. So what could this number be? All you have to do is we add 48 and 17. Then we get the number. So the num missing number is 65. Let's solve another problem here. Uh, four friends have nine cupcakes. They buy seven more and are also given an additional eight cupcakes. They want to split the cupcakes equally. How many will each will they each get? So let's take a look at the given um, figures first. So we have four friends. And they got nine cupcakes. And then they buy more, uh, seven more. So seven more cupcakes and are also given an additional of eight cupcakes. So all we have to do is we add up nine, seven, and eight, which is equal to 24 cupcakes. And this is the total number of cupcakes, which the four friends have now the question is they want to equally split the cupcakes uh, among themselves and how many will each get so all we have to do is we divide 24 by 4 so the answer here is 6 cupcakes each one of them gets 6 cupcakes so this is our answer here. Let's solve another problem. A lamp has a rating of 60 watts. How many kilowatt hour does it use if it is turned on for 10 hours? So we're given here 60 watts and then we need to look for the number of kilowatt hour that it uses when it is turned on for 10 hours. So we just have to multiply the number of wattage here, 60 watts, times the number of hours it is turned on. So 10 hours. So this is just equivalent to 600 watt hours. And now we, we are asked for the number of kilowatt hours. One kilowatt hour is just e equal to uh, 1000 watts for one hour. So we can convert the 600 uh, watt hours to kilowatt hours. this cancels out therefore this is just 600 over 1000 kilowatt hours which is just equivalent to 0.6 kilowatt hour so this is our answer here Right, let's solve another one. 
How many cubic feet of water does a swimming pool measuring 22 feet long by 10 feet wide by 5 feet tall contain? So we are asked for the cubic feet of uh, water that a swimming pool contain can contain. And we're given the dimensions of the swimming pool. So cubic feet, that means we need to solve for the volume. All we have to do is we multiply the length, the width, and the height or the depth, which is 5 feet. So this is just 22 feet times 10 feet times 5 feet. And this would give us a volume of 1,100 cubic feet. Uh, you can write it this way. So our answer is this one.